Let's move to Parliament now, where the minority is doubting the promises by President Ikufado to build 88 district hospitals, and they are saying that will not materialize anytime soon. They say there are no provisions for that in the budget, and processes to secure loans for the construction cannot happen over the next one year. Minority spokesperson on health, Kovna Minta Kando, says the president's assurance is political and as captured in the 2016 manifesto of the NDC, he is urging, of the NPP, he is urging the president to desist from politicizing COVID-19 issues. Parliamentary correspondent Joseph Opokugato joins us via Zoom. Uh, Joseph, Mr. Akando has been urging the president to rather focus on completing outstanding health infrastructure. Tell us more. Uh, so he's been addressing the media and making the point that uh, there are a lot of other ways that government in its efforts to deal with COVID-19 can help uh, bring the situation under control than rather wanting to take part, he says, as political credit and trying to uh, gain political advantage using the situation with the COVID-19. Make the point that it's captured clearly in the NPP manifesto that uh, by the end of the first term, we're going to construct healthcare facilities, specifically district hospitals, you know, districts across the country. And according to Mr. Minta Kando, the president has not been able to fulfill that more than three years into his term, and he's only taken advantage of COVID-19 to then bring back that assurance and seek to create the impression that he's doing this because of COVID-19. But he says that's not exactly the case. And he's been making the point that there's no budgetary provision for this. If a loan has to be secured, all of that will take time. So for them on the minority side, they are not convinced that the assurances being given by the president will materialize. And he's asking the president to desist from politicizing the issues having to do with COVID-19 and rather focus on what's important to bring the situation under control. We don't have details on this 88 district hospitals the president uh, mentioned yesterday. Are they looking at hauling either the finance or the health minister before parliament to provide details, especially on the financing? Uh, he makes the point that particularly looking at the fact that there is no budgetary allocation for uh, this particular set facilities. Any such move to spend, whether from the public purse or even from uh, international sources, in order to deal with the situation and construct the hospitals, won't necessarily have to come back to Parliament for approval. And so they are just uh, holding on and holding on to their breath, even as they await for any such processes to come to Parliament when they will then demand the details as far as these initiatives are concerned. Joseph Obogu Gatwa is our parliamentary correspondent, bringing us details from the uh, Minority Committee on Health, the leadership, they're doubting the president's uh, promise to build 88 district hospitals.